right, I'm going to show you how to deal with a piece that's way off center. When you're working on centering, sometimes you watch me center my piece and you say, well, you know, you aren't having any trouble. You've been doing this for a while. Um, so I'm going to intentionally get this piece way off center. I've got bat pins in here, so I'm going to put bat on. And I'm, I've got a uh, round piece of clay to start with. But let's just make that a mess to begin with. So I've pushed that way off of center there, and now I'm going to try to center this. Now, obviously, this is going to want to bounce me around quite a bit at this point. And if I've got my arms way up like this, I've, they're not attached to anything, my hands wobble all over the place, and things get worse and worse and worse. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to get my elbows on my, on my legs, or depending how you're shaped, on your, your stomach, on the splash pan, whatever you can comfortably reach. I've also got my seat about parallel, the same height as the wheel head. And when I lean over here, my arms can't move too much. They can move like this. If I bring my two hands together, they can move even less. But this piece is so far off center that even then, and particularly if I'm not very, you know, not don't have a lot of practice with this and don't have the muscles built up, it's going to be difficult for me to get it centered. So I'm going to recommend a slight change here. I'm going to actually stick my elbow against either the inside of my leg or my body, and I'm going to lean my body into this clay, and that's going to help me bring this piece up, all right? And the weight, now you may not be strong enough to push this clay in when it's moving, but you weigh more than this clay, definitely. And so leaning into that clay with your body weight and letting your weight push your elbow, which pushes your wrist, which pushes the clay, that's going to be, give you leverage over this clay. So I've started to bring this cone up. Now I have a little bit of air pocket in there, I know, because I had my piece start so far off, uh, so far uncentered when I began with it. But I want to show you a couple other things. Um, Sometimes people get up here, one of the mistakes people sometimes do is they get this thing really skinny, they get, they get a, kind of a narrow neck happening in there, and then the piece wants to fall over like that. Now obviously this is an exaggeration here, I'm going to get it more or less straight here. But uh, you can come back from something like this, the issue is stability. You need to find a way to keep yourself stable. So I'm going to uh, uh, have my two hands together. Remember, if you just try to push down like this, what's going to happen? It's going to come and twist and, and become a mess like that. So you've got to have these two hands coming together. Your right hand needs to be stable. It doesn't matter if the clay is centered. Your hand, your side hand, needs to be steady. So where is it? It's braced against my leg. It's braced against my body, maybe both. I'm leaning over nice and secure. This hand on top, I don't want it wiggling all around. I need to attach it. Now these, I can move my body a little bit, but I can't, my arms aren't going very far. So I'm going to start to push down here, and yeah, it's not going to be perfect. It's going to move around a little bit. You see that it's got some wobble, that, that wobble that was at the top has now kind of moved into the whole body here, but I'm not done. So hands are starting to stick, add some water, and then again, now I've got my shoulder up over the, uh, the clay as I push down. There we go, and it's starting to get closer and closer to center. The, the sorts of things people I see people do is they're not very well braced, they're not finding a way to leverage their body, maybe they're not uh, feeling super confident about being able to, to push on that clay, or they're letting, see this bump? I don't know if you can tell that my hands are moving uh, as they drag along here. There's a little lump of clay that's stuck on here, and that little lump, particularly if, uh, let's make it a bigger lump, Having a lump of clay there, notice how my hand is, is kind of getting bounced around. And as long as it's bouncing up and down, it tends to bounce side to side too. And I, again, I kind of exaggerate here, but these are the sorts of things that beginners have trouble with. And so getting that clay out of there is real, impo real important. So use a rib, lean it back towards you. Don't press that clay. We don't want to just squish it. We don't want it bouncing around. We actually want to use the blade, the clay coming into the blade of this rib is going to cut away some of that clay there. And now, if I put my hand down there, it's not going anywhere. Oops, I missed a bit. Now it's not going anywhere. And my hand is steady this way, and so it's able to push in evenly this way. 
Some people don't like co uh, coning up, and that's fine. This is this. Uh, if I just go this high, that's all right. That gives me something. And now I can get my other hand on top and push down again, leaning my body weight over the clay, pushing down onto the clay. Um, and uh, sometimes you end up with sort of a under uh, a hole here, an undercut or something, uh, a little uh, shadow that's happening there. And that's because as you push that clay down, this hand, the side hand, isn't doing its job. It's saying, oh, wh whatever, it can, it can just get wide there. And this is a place where you can hide some unevenness as well. If you find yourself having that uh, undercut thing happening there, then you know you need to adjust either the pressure or position of this side hand. You need to tip it in or tip it out. A I mean, uh, tip it, uh, tip your hand at an angle like that, or uh, so you're not kind of tucking underneath. Or you need to adjust where your pressure is. Some people only push at the top, only push at the bottom. It should be uh, uh, the clay should be hitting the hand here and moving its way down to fill in that space. When you are doing this correctly, it doesn't look like you're doing anything. You're not moving very much. And, uh, and that's a little hard, it's a little hard then to see, to watch other people and say, okay, I don't know where they're not moving. Um, but it's getting braced so that your arms can't move and then leaning your body weight or leaning your muscles into that clay. Uh, another thing I, I started to do right there that can cause people trouble is I, I take my hand away from the clay real fast. And you see how I had centered clay that is now wobbling around because I didn't uh, keep myself steady. I need to uh, come to the clay slowly, and I need to come away from the clay slowly. So I'm going to center this again. I also highly re recommend not talking while you're doing this, because that talking just kind of distracts you. Focus on what you're doing. You are centering the clay right now. That is all you should be doing. And now, I take my hands away slowly. Even if you're starting to stick, let up your pressure and then take your hands away so it's not a quick change. Any place I touch on this clay, with my hand, with my finger, whatever it is, with the tool, whatever it is, that should be happening all the way around the clay. And a quick touch like that means that that mark, that, uh, that whatever pressure there was, has happened only in one place and it leaves a little dent or a little uh, angle or something. So this piece that I've got here, I've got it well centered on the outside, but my guess is I'm going to have an air pocket when I get inside of there. And the reason for that air pocket is because I had it, uh, I sort of folded it over at the very beginning because I started so far off of round. That's why I recommend that when you start to, to throw for the day, you pr take the time to wedge your clay, prepare your clay, and shape it into either a uh, sort of pyramid kind of shape, dome kind of shape like that, or a ball is perfectly fine, a sphere or a cylinder is perfectly fine, just not something that's, that's way off of, off of round like that is.